Thank you to Blueland for bringing us today's video. More on them later on. I'm sharing the Madame Chic method for clearing clutter from your home in today's video. Hello everyone, Jennifer L. Scott here and welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. Today we're going to talk about the Madame Chic method for clearing clutter from your home. What's the Madame Chic method? Well, I am the author of the Madame Chic series, and in my first book, Lessons from Madame Chic, I shared my experience living with a French family as a foreign exchange student, and I learned so much from this family. One of the chapters in the book is called Clutter is So Not Chic. <laughs> and let's all agree that clutter is just not chic, and so we want it out of our homes. How can we deal with it? Madame Chic and her family lived in a clutter-free home all the time. It never went through phases with tons of clutter, small amounts of clutter, it was always clutter-free. So we're going to get into the five-step process where you can live in a clutter-free home as well. The first step in the clutter-free process is to identify your hotspots. What are hotspots? Hot spots are those high traffic areas in your home where clutter tends to accumulate on a daily basis. So the clutter might not stay the same, it might change all the time, but it's still clutter. So many hot spots for people could include entryways or high traffic areas like kitchen countertops or even the kitchen table itself. You might have a little side table that everybody passes by and things tend to accumulate on the side table, for example. Those are examples of hot spots. The clutter doesn't tend to be too bad on these hot spots, but there's always something there that shouldn't be there, or maybe things that are there that aren't put away properly. Now, for us, the clutter hotspot in our home is definitely the entryway hall and also various areas in the kitchen. Just some things just tend to always accumulate in these piles. So, what do we do about our hotspots? The first step toward everything is awareness, okay? Expand your consciousness of these areas and be aware of them. Don't become accustomed to the clutter that forms in these areas. Become aware of them and be bothered by them. That's okay if you are. Then you must come up with a plan to make those spaces functional and not acquire clutter. So how do you do that? Let's talk about you individually. So you, whenever you walk through those clutter hotspots, you can tidy them up quickly, have a plan, don't think about it too much, just get them sorted out as you walk through them. But let's say you live with your family and they are responsible for a lot of the clutter in these hot spots. Well, it's time for a family meeting and <laughs> make it enjoyable, make a cup of tea and some cake, but show them the clutter hot spots and get everybody on board and excited about clearing the clutter in those areas. The next tip is to identify your stagnant spaces. Now these spaces accumulate clutter, but they're usually out of the way. They are not in the high traffic areas. So it might be a closet, like people joke about the Monica closet from Friends. It might be a closet where you dump everything, okay? I have one of those, I do. <laughs> Or it might a drawer or a cupboard where you just shove everything into it. It might be a section in a room or just something that you don't necessarily see every day. Now, a lot of times people will clear off their hot spots by putting them in their stagnant spaces because they think, well, at least I can't see it. Now, I actually agree that that is better than nothing because what you see every day is very important. So. If you do have an out of the way place where you can move things, that's okay as long as you vow to go through the out of the way place eventually. So how do we deal with our stagnant spaces? You must schedule a time to take care of them because it's not the type of thing like a hotspot where you can go through it quickly and sort it out. Usually with a stagnant space, it's going to take a few hours or an afternoon or sometimes even a week. I'm currently going through a closet right now that will probably take a few weeks to go through. It's that bad. A great way to handle this is to do it for 15 minutes a day. Maybe schedule this in your planner, for example, or with a timer on your phone. Another tip, and I talk about this a lot, is to listen to a great audiobook. And uh, if you have an audiobook, sometimes you just want to listen to the audiobook. You don't care what you're doing. <laughs> okay, so you could attack your stagnant spaces that way by listening to an amazing audiobook and just working through it. It feels so good. Make the space, whatever it is, functional again. Restore it to its former glory or what it should be used for. And that is such a good feeling. The key is with clutter. It's not like you just tackle it one time and then it goes away forever. You have to constantly be working. It is an ebb and a flow. So hotspots and stagnant spaces. 
the way you handle them will be different, but your awareness of them and your dedication to frequently going through them is going to make for a clutter-free home. So once you declutter, you know you can really get in there and clean, right? I'm going to tell you about Blue Land for the next minute because they kindly sponsored today's video. So you know how much I love Blue Land. I love their tablet method. Blue Land is also EPA certified. So unlike traditional cleaners that are sold with single-use plastics, with Blue Land, all you need to get cleaning is this nickel-sized tablet. Constantly paying for plastic cleaning bottles is wasteful as they're usually five to six dollars per bottle of cleaner. With Blue Land, it's just two dollars for a refill tablet. So here I'm showing you their clean essentials kit, which contains a foaming hand soap, multi-surface cleaner, bathroom cleaner, and glass and mirror cleaner. Here's how it works. Fill your forever bottle with warm water, drop one of the tablets into the bottle and allow the tablet to fully dissolve before putting the nozzle on. So I love that with Blue Land, you can just order the tablet refills and then you fill the bottle with water in your own home. It's just amazing and I love it. So all you have to do is click on my link below to get 20% off your first kit. Thank you to Blue Land for bringing us today's video. Step three in the Madame Chic method process for decluttering your home is to look at your home with new eyes. This one is big and I talk about this in lessons from Madame Chic. But you must walk into your home and look at it as if you have never been there before, as if it's your first time seeing your home. And I'll tell you why we do this because we become accustomed to the clutter in our home. We get to a place where it doesn't bother us. It's like the frog in the boiling water. It, maybe it bothers us at first. We think, oh, I need to go through that kitchen countertop area. But then you get used to it and you don't bother doing it. And then it becomes a fixture in your home. So why do we want to do this? And I recommend that you physically like leave your home, okay? And then walk through the front door and look at it as if you were someone who was about to purchase the home, okay? A prospective buyer, or maybe someone that you really would want to impress in your life. Let's say they walked into your home. Look around in every room and identify what you need to address. There might be some clutter areas that you haven't really thought of. By doing this, you will become horrified with your clutter again. That's basically where I'm going with this. We do need to be bothered by it. We don't wanna become comfortable with it, okay? We do want the clutter to become unsightly for us. So do this now and do this on a regular basis. Don't get used to it. I get used to clutter in my home, I do. And I think, well, I'm really busy. I don't have time to go through that. I can't do this right now. Uh, but then if someone were to come into the room, I wouldn't be happy with the giant pile of stuff that I need to go through in the corner. I want the space to look beautiful. And I know that you do too. Step number four in the Madame Chic method to keeping a clutter-free home is to check the flow. So when I lived in Santa Monica, I had a good friend who was a feng shui expert. She has since passed away. But she taught me so much about the importance of beauty, order, and flow in the home. So what is feng shui? It's an ancient Chinese practice that uses energy to harmonize you with your space. The term feng shui literally means wind and water. So a lot of people think of feng shui as like an empty room with only two or three things in it, but that's not true. You don't have to be such a minimalist to employ feng shui. Anybody can have a, a feng shui apartment or house. And so when I think about Madame Chic's own home, you walked into her home, there were no blockages, there was no clutter. Whether you know it or not, you immediately identify these spaces of clutter in your home and other people's home. You can sense it, there's a blockage of flow in the home. And I truly believe this. So when you walked into Madame Chic's home, it was just a perfect flow. And they had their own unique Parisian antique style that was fabulous, but it could be any style home where you can employ feng shui. So clutter is considered negative in the world of feng shui because it causes congestion in the overall flow of a room. And we want rooms with beautiful free flowing energy. So even without being trained in the art of feng shui, you can probably look at the room you're in now to determine if there's a good flow or if there's a pile of clutter or an object or two that you need to remove from the space. So once you walk into your home with fresh eyes, I want you to also check for the flow. What areas of your home are not flowing beautifully? We want an elegant space that flows okay so you're going to become accustomed to this you'll get used to identifying the blockages a lot more once you do it more and the final step in the madame chic process to decluttering your home is to ask yourself 
is it beautiful? Okay, this might be the most important part of the whole Madame Chic method. Is it beautiful? Women especially, I find, are visual creatures and we want a beautiful space. We want it to be serene. Now clutter often destroys the beauty in a room. I think of it like you're wearing a beautiful outfit but there's a big coffee stain on it. That's the clutter. <laughs> clutter is the stain on the room. Now you want a beautiful home, you want beautiful surroundings, so you need to get rid of the clutter in order to achieve this. It would be impossible to have a beautiful space with lots of clutter. The two do not go together. Also you shouldn't wait for this to happen. You should not wait to have a beautiful home or say well one day, maybe when the kids are older, or one day, maybe when I get this job or XYZ happens. No, you can have a beautiful home right now. I don't mean go out on a shopping spree and completely redecorate your home, although that would be nice, but no, I'm saying with what you have right now in your home, you can have a beautiful home. It might cause you to rearrange some furniture or bring out some throws that you haven't used in a while, or put a house plant in the corner, or bring out those tablecloths that you have been wanting to use, it might require that. But truly, you can have a beautiful home right now. If your home is clean and tidy and decorated according to your particular taste, showcasing your personality, you can have a beautiful home. And of course, having this mindset, this desire to have a beautiful home will be the impetus behind wanting to get rid of the clutter because I want you to picture a beautiful space. Watch some of those videos on YouTube like um, Architectural Digest or Quinn Quintessence. I love watching the tours of the celebrities or designers' homes. They are so beautiful. Usually they've been professionally designed. And you couldn't even picture a pile of unsightly clutter in one of those rooms. That's what we want our homes to be like. And we may not be celebrities like these people or designers, but you can have that too, no matter how simple your home is. That's the driving force behind this for me, is I like to be surrounded by beauty. I want beauty everywhere. And so clutter is just not compatible with beauty. It's got to go. So let's recap the five-step Madame Chic method to getting rid of clutter in your home. The first one is to check your hotspots, identify them, and work with your family on clearing them of clutter on a regular basis. The second step is to identify your stagnant spaces and make a plan to go through them. Make it enjoyable for you. The Madame Chic method is about pleasure, not pain. So listen to an audiobook and enjoy the process. The third step is to look at your home with new eyes. Walk in as if you were the foreign exchange student coming into the home for the first time, waiting to just look at your surroundings and see where you're going to live for the next six months. <laughs> okay, like I did with Madame Chic's home. Do that with your own home. What do you see? Are you embarrassed by what you find? It's time to sort it out. The fourth step is to check the flow. What is the feng shui like in your room? Does it flow? Are there blockages? Is clutter clogging and congesting your space up? Time to get rid of those blockages once you identify them. And the final step is, is it beautiful? You deserve to live in a beautiful space. I always say this, life is short and you might as well enjoy every moment and live in a beautiful space now. Don't wait for some day in the future. You can live in a beautiful space now with what you have. It's all about taking care of what you have and putting it to its best use. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you did and if you would like to see more clutter clearing tips. Thank you so much to Blue Land for bringing us this video. Don't forget to use my link below and you can get 20% off your first kit. Thank you for joining me here today on The Daily Connoisseur. Keep calm and remain classy, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye! Thank you.